Okay, so this is the easiest review to do in the world. And I'm going to explain why in a minute. Um, so we are going to have a look and a quick think about whether the Fujifilm 35mm F2 or the XC F2, but you can put the, um, the metal F2 in there as well, or this wonderful 1.4 version is right for you and me. And the funny thing is, is that it becomes a really simple review to do because we're talking about two amazing kind of legacy lenses um, for Fuji and you really can't go wrong. I mean, I can't believe how light this thing is. This, look at this, look, this is an old Fujifilm lens and you know on this channel what I love to do is talk about Fujifilm stuff that's just bygone and either forgotten or just not, you know, seen as being the latest, greatest. I like to look at the older stuff and think, hang on, actually, maybe there's something good about that and we shouldn't just kind of leave it alone. And I think that's going to be the case with this 35 1.4. Um, thank you to MPB for sending me this 35 1.4 and uh, I've just got it literally, it's going back tomorrow. So it will be sad to see this thing go. But anyway, let's quickly think about these things. So firstly, this 35 mil, this is the XC35 F2. It's got the same optics as the 35 F2 metal version on the XF. And, you know, it's basically the same lens apart from the fact that this has got a plastic body. So immediately this thing becomes extremely cheap because it's like, it's like 160 pounds or something. I mean, it, it very, very cheap. So value for money wise, you are getting a wonderful lens with this. And I've used this one a lot for landscape photography and other types of photography. And I think as long as you're outside, you know, or in a kind of a reasonably lit indoor area, then this F2 version is brilliant. When you get into low light and you start kind of wanting to um, shoot, you know, in darker areas, it does become a little bit difficult because you are F2 um, and your ISO has to be boosted, but it's not a deal breaker because you still can get great shots on it, just be a little bit noisier. Um, and I, I tend to pair this one with an older Fujifilm body. So what I like to do is rather than put this on my, say my X-T4, I would rather put this on say the X-M1 like here or um, the uh, X-E1, cameras like that because I find that um, it kind of pairs well with those. So anyway, that's a great lens, okay? So my positives about this lens are it's, it's quite a quick autofocus um, it's, you know, it does, does fine with that. It's obviously not weather sealed. It's, you know, just a, um, a standard, a standard lens, but for the price of it, the thing that really, really, really surprises me is the beautiful contrast. And that's, that's the great thing about this lens is it's got such a beautiful contrast and rich color tones, um, that I would be, I just honestly blown away by that for the price of this lens. Okay. So what Matt and I were going to make this re review together, but he's ill today. Um, so get well Matt quickly. But what I did was when this lens arrived, I gave this to Matt and I said, look, Matt, take this away, shoot with this for, um, a little while and uh, come to my, it was my 25th wedding anniversary um, a couple of weeks ago. And I said to Matt, look, bring this along and be the, be the photographer at our wedding anniversary party and take some snaps for us and let's see how well this performs. <laughs> I've got to say, as soon as we finished it and um, I sp as soon as I spoke to Matt afterwards, Matt was like, this lens is incredible. Everything you hear about the 35 1.4 that's good is true. And actually everything you hear about how kind of clunky it is, is also true. And this is the great thing about this lens. In fact, you know, you're going to compare what the kind of decision we came to is that actually buy both because really you can't compare these two lenses. And that's really where my review kind of starts and ends is that they are, even though they are the same focal length, you can't really compare them because they are doing different jobs. They've got different personalities. And I know some people hate the way I talk about camera gear as though it's a, a real thing. But for me, 
it does have a kind of a personality. There are quirks. There are things about these lenses which, you know, do um, have their own character. And uh, this 35 1.4 has got oodles of character, okay? You, you know, buy both. This one's great for running out, getting some shots with the kids, whatever, messing around. Um, shoot some landscapes with it. It's a great little travel camera. It's really light lens. You know, everything about this is great. Okay, it's F2, it's got good contrast, wonderful. But this is special. This has got the most richest, gorgeous color tones. It's not the fastest autofocus. It's a bit noisy. It's totally lightweight. I can't believe, I mean, literally, it's just so light. It is just a gorgeous, beautiful legacy lens from Fujifilm that it's hard to see how Fuji can improve this because, and like many others have said, if they do improve all the things that perhaps make it a bit quirky, is it gonna lose its character? And, you know, we don't want that character to go. So it's one of those weird ones, but it is gorgeous and it takes gorgeous photos. Um, it's got beautiful bokeh, it's got beautiful color tones. It's just got something. This is like the, got the X factor of um, beauty and um, richness. Um, for Fujifilm lenses. So, you know, I'm going to show you some photos from both lenses and, uh, you know, you can make up your own mind. But as far as we're concerned, um, we just think by both, you know, we can sit here and talk about sharpness, talk about all the, you know, the, the, the finer points of it. Don't worry about any of that. You want to go with something that just feels like a yes when you shoot with it. And the added bonus to this is that obviously you can shoot it indoors. 1.4 is a fantastic um, indoor lens as well. Um, so yeah, we are massively, massively um, in favor of this lens. And I just don't think you can compare the two. That's really the conclusion that we came to. They're just both great lenses um, for different reasons. If I had to buy one lens now, I'd buy this, the 1.4. Um, and you know, if they ever do, I know they bought the 33 mil out now, and that's more like a true 50 but it's got the linear motor and it's gonna be a whole different type of lens. Its resolution's gonna be higher. There's gonna be loads about that lens, which is gonna make it amazing and I'm looking forward to reviewing it, but this has got a character in it that I don't think you can really replace. So um, yeah, long live the 35 1.4. Cool, cheers. Oh, by the way, don't forget my Patreon down below. Click on that link and uh, come over and be a part of it. Be a part of my little community. Cool, thanks a lot.